we ventured out into Springfield to hear some more of your relationship questions. Let me be clear, my responses aren't based in any fact or science. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I am just giving out rash and irresponsible advice. But I'm on TV, and that gives me instant credibility. Ah, I'm drunk with power! Ah, little tequila. I currently have a crush on my current ex-girlfriend's current ex-boyfriend, current ex-girlfriend. Sounds like you're living in the past. Go out, meet someone new. Look, if you're so comfortable around exes, just be yourself around this new person and they'll be your ex in no time. Yes, I am going to eat that, but the real question is, what are you going to eat? I'm going to have a house salad with the dressing on the side and half your french fries. You wanna know why? I'm betting that you won't even notice and you'll be really impressed with my willpower. Don't you think I'm so skinny? Why is it that sometimes love just isn't enough? Because this is America. We need stuff. If you want a girlfriend, you're going to have to go out and start spending a lot of money on crap you don't need. And don't worry, if you can't afford it, just open another credit card. And while you're at it, put her name on the account. What could go wrong? What should a guy do when he's in the doghouse? Do you know any tricks? <coughs> How about begging? That one usually works. And if you do it well, you might get a treat. I'm 18, and guys think that's too young. What's up with that? Too young for what? Renting a car? <coughs> They're right. You are too young to rent a car, and that's really important to guys. But don't worry. In seven years, when you're 25 and renting cars, you'll be beating guys off with a stick. Got a relationship question? Shoot me an email. I just might put it on the air.